So, it's finally happening. Samsung's Exynos is making a comeback, and this time, it actually looks legit. The Exynos 2600, built on a super-advanced 2-nanometer process, is basically confirmed to be ready just in time for the Galaxy S26 lineup next year. And yep, Samsung's strategy for which phones get Exynos and which get Snapdragon is gonna feel very familiar. Here's the deal. The regular Galaxy S26 and the S26 Edge are rocking the Exynos 2600. Meanwhile, the big boy, the Galaxy S26 Ultra, sticks with Qualcomm, specifically the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. But wait, there's more. Samsung's also bringing back its old split market strategy. If you're in the US or Korea, all models are running Snapdragon. If you're in Europe or other regions, you'll be getting the Exynos versions. And yeah, I know, that's been controversial in the past. Thing is, this time around, the Exynos 2600 might actually hold its ground. Because of that two nanometer process, it's not just efficient, it's scoring higher than the Snapdragon 8 Elite currently powering the Galaxy S25 series. That's already a beast of a chip, so seeing the Exynos pull ahead is kind of wild. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're the type who needs the absolute best, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is still your go-to. The S26 Ultra will only come with Snapdragon worldwide and the leaked benchmarks show that chip is insanely powerful, even if it's built on 3 nanometers instead of 2. But honestly, I'm excited about this. I've been waiting for Exynos to make a proper comeback because Samsung has the potential to do what Apple did with its own silicon. Sure, the 2600 might still be a tiny bit behind Snapdragon in some areas, but overall, this is huge news for Samsung fans. So, what do you think? Are you hyped about the Exynos? Or are you sticking with Snapdragon no matter what? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.